What's up everybody, it's Foch here. I'm with my boy Maz. Maz, what are we doing today? Today, we're smoking the Judge by My Father Cigars. Let's fire them up. Let's do it. So I don't know about you, Maz, but this happens to be one of my favorite blends for my father. I mean, I know you like definitely four body blends. And for me, the judge is definitely on the four side of medium to full. Mm -hmm. Like, let's get that right out of the way. So for people out there, subscribers that are watching, if you're looking for a delicate cigar, something that's approachable, as as, it. this is not it. This is like your after dinner cigar. You know, if you're if you're just getting into more of a kind of a seasoned smoker mode, mm -hmm. all right, you want to indulge, just make sure you eat first. I think a lot of them, my father blends air on that side, right? They're definitely for more of a seasoned smoker. And the judge does not disappoint. The makeup of the cigar alone, Sumatra wrapper, yep. right? Sumatra wrapper is definitely, I, I always say, and the subscribers probably get tired of hearing me saying this, but Sumatra wrapper is one of those wrappers that as soon as you light it up, it's right there. It's full frontal mm -hmm. when it comes to like aggression. It's like a good aggression. Yeah. But it's spicy, it's cedary, leathery, it's, leathery, it's earthy. What tasting note jumps at you from the, the judge, from you know, from your first perspective? What, what jumps at you first? Well, when I first light it, I get that spice. Mm -hmm. And well, probably from the wrapper. But it's it's like almost specific, because people ask us at times, I've seen comments where people are like, well, what do you mean by spice? And obviously we well, break it down. For me, I'm getting more cinnamon. It's funny you said that. I get ginger snap mm -hmm. flavor to this cigar. It's like, it's like ginger snap, but it's definitely red pepper. I usually can't put my finger on it. Sometimes I'll say like it has a peppery flavor, spicy flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say cayenne because that might be too aggressive, but it's definitely a red pepper quality. It's definitely, it, it makes my lips tingle. Okay. And, but that ginger snap is there as well. I can see the ginger snap. Cause you said with cinnamon, cinnamon, right? I'm not getting the red pepper though. Well, the, well, that spice factor. I get the spice. Yeah. But phenomenal blend. One of my go-tos from my father. Yeah, I mean, and you, I, you know I'm fond of a box press cigar. Yeah, I know you are. So this is, we're smoking the Toro Fino, which is a 52 mm -hmm. ring gauge, but it's pressed. So obviously mouthfeel is perfect. It's not too wide of a cigar for me. It's a great looking cigar too. Right, it probably suits you. That's probably like your go-to yeah, size in yeah. this blend. And it comes in, you know, multiple sizes. Mm -hmm. But the Corona Gorda, I lean on as well. But I think if I had to pick one size, it's the Toro Yeah, the Toro Fino would be the size I pick. I yeah. mean, the bigger ring, the Toro, is good also. I they're, mean, they're all good. They're all good. And they definitely hit the palate in different ways. The other tasting note that I get from the cigar, and I don't get it from a lot of cigars. Let me see if you can put your finger on it. There's a tasting note that's there that I don't get a lot. And it's more definitely, it speaks of bolder flavors. And sometimes, well, I'll give you a real good hint. I usually get it from sometimes some whiskeys. Caramel? No, I get peat. There's a little bit of peatiness to the cigar. Hmm. When you think of like a smoky scotch, that peaty flavor. Yeah, there's definitely uh, a lot of depth in the cigar. I'm getting a lot of flavors. A little sweetness also. Are you? Yeah, I'm getting a little sweetness. You see, I don't, I don't get that from, from the judge. I, I mean, it's definitely more spicy. Yeah. Oversweet, but more nutty, cedary. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, it has all the signature flavors from the My Father Factory. I just, I just love the boldness of this blend. Oh, yeah. If somebody's looking, that, especially if they're a fan of Sumatra wrapper and they want to see, like, to push the limit of where Sumatra can go, where you can still taste the wrapper, but the mm -hmm. blend is really pushing it, the judge is right there. It's on the cusp of being like, right? Yeah, it's, it's got. It's got a lot of boldness. It does have a lot of boldness. It's not totally aggressive. It's not like, you know, in your face aggressive. Mm -mm. No, if you, it definitely has some power. Well, put it this way: if you're, we, we are picking up all these different flavor notes. Mm -hmm. It would be totally linear and one note if it was just too aggressive. Right. Bold and spicy, but with layers of flavor, mm -hmm. is the beauty of blending a cigar. Sure. Right. And there's not many people better in the world than Pepin yeah, Garcia. He does a great job. And Jaime Garcia. Yeah, with all their blends. Right. They really do. And you know the portfolio. It's a vast portfolio, and the judge kind of sits alone 
because it has that unique Sumatra wrapper. They do a lot of Corojo, they do a lot of Habano wrapper, of course, broadleaf wrapper. Right. But with that Sumatra wrapper, they really know how to put it together with a blend that yeah. really has a lot of kind of like character and a lot of strength to it that pushes the boundaries of, of the spiciness, yeah. but with layers of flavor. I love the fact that you could coax all these little flavors. And even though I don't get sweetness from it, mm -hmm. and I, obviously you have a great palate. Slight, slight. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I, honestly, it could change as I'm smoking. I might pick up on that. But when I think of the judge, I really think of red pepper, ginger snap, and peat. And it's a different cigar. So people like that watch this channel, they know when we just wrap cigars. And there's only so much of a flavor wheel with cigars. Right. Um, I think in the wine world sometimes when people get too fussy with their terminology, people get frustrated with it. They're like, I don't taste fresh cut grass and that stuff. Yeah. But then when you're kind of like with us, we kind of try to simplify it. Sure. Right? People get frustrated with that. They're like, well, yeah, of course, all coffee, it's a coffee, it's nuts, it's that. But in reality, we have to, we have to basically tell people what we're tasting. Right. So with that said, Maz, what do you have uh, for a pairing? So when it comes to pairings, a lot of times when I'm thinking about the cigar and spirit to pair it with, I think of the cigar solely, right? And mm -hmm. think to myself, if this was a spirit, what would this spirit be? Mm -hmm. The flavor description that we're talking about, these bold flavors, these rich flavors. To me, that speaks of bourbon, Okay. right? So when you're talking about more nuance, the finesse blends, that speaks of like a scotch, because there's a lot of different, obviously, age statements, cast finishes, but when it comes to bold, rich flavors, I'm going to lean towards a bourbon every time. So I chose Old Forester bourbon. This is the 1910. There's different expressions of the Old Forester. Yeah, I never had the 1910 yet, so yeah, and I chose curious. it. Yeah, I, I chose it because it's 93 proof. So you know, some of Old Forester goes north of 100, mm -hmm. and at times that could be tricky with a blend, even a, a blend as bold as the Judge. I just wanted to make sure we have kind of a phenomenal bourbon but I didn't want to overpower this at all. Not that, obviously, it would be hard to overpower yeah. this, but I don't want it to get in the way at all of the, the nuances of this bold cigar. So that's why, even though I love Old Forester, I wanted to go with something a little lower proof, and the 1910, to me, I think is perfect for it. All right, well, so, I'm curious to try it, so. You know what, you do the honors today. You got it. You pour. All right. That's a good bourbon. I know you love this. Mm, so that's bold flavors. Mm -hmm. It's bold all the way around. That's, that's the way you have to do it. Excellent, right? excellent bourbon. Right? And you know, when it comes to the pairing, as I said, from the My Father Factory, most of their bolder blends, it's a Habano, Scuro wrappers, right. Corojo, Broadleaf. The Sumatra really just sets it apart and it really sets it up really nice to pair with a bourbon like this. Yeah. So. I'm, you've had Old Forester before? Like I've had Old Forester, never the 1910. Right. So what do you think? I mean, it's excellent, great choice. Toffee, caramel, mm -hmm. little oak, but definitely. definitely a complex bourbon. Definitely a great pairing. Yeah. Something I, I definitely buy again. And I like the way, on all the notes you're talking about, which I get from the Old Forester as well, is like burnt sugar, toffee. They're bold flavors, but they lean on the side of sweet, mm -hmm. right? which a lot of bourbons do. Yeah. I love the way it complements the spice of the cigar. And, yeah. You know, as I said, for me, I get that red pepper, ginger snap, which is in that cinnamon category. Mm -hmm. Molasses, of course, is in that, when you're talking about ginger snap. And then I get that little bit of peatiness, which you're not, you're not getting, but right. it obviously tastes as personal. But they all speak of kind of like bold, but spicy flavors for the most part. And then with this old Forester, that burnt sugar flavor, which I really get a lot of, that caramel note, that toffee note, and the boldness of this without being over the top. Right. Because I think if it was like north of 100 proof, it might get a little hotter. Yeah, I we, think you picked the, the right alcohol percentage in this. Right, I think if it would have went a little higher proof, then you're talking about a, a whiskey that might have kind of not been as sweet on the oh, palate, definitely. right? It would have been a little hotter. Hotter. But it's still not, you know, it's 93 proof. Right. It's not like it's... Yeah, uh, it's still nothing to sneeze at. I mean, it's still, <laughs> no. still got some kick. It'll get it. you where you want to go. Oh, and, and the thing, especially like for after dinner, nice big meal, mm -hmm. maybe you even had an espresso after dinner, and then you're like, you know what? 
Nightcap, let's go. Oh, this is perfect. All Forrester, 1910. My father, the judge, perfect compliment to each other. Agreed, 100%. Right? This is something I will definitely put together at home. I definitely agree. If you guys are looking for a pairing with bold, rich flavors, you should definitely give this a try. But you be the judge. So I want to thank you all for joining us. But before we depart, make sure you hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, and, and we'll, we'll see you here next time. time.